today by telling you about a very interesting project. A little over a year ago, my next guest cut this shape of a skull out of a piece of paper. This little sort of strange little skull and posted it online then every day for a year he posted his skull of the day on his blog hundreds of thousands of people all around the world visited the site and now his skulls are featured in a new book called what else skulls please welcome Noah Scalin Noah This is a great book. Oh, thank you so it's much. It's really, really like fun it. to look through. I love the cover, too. Isn't that what fun? do they do? What do they do with this? on it. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. And so this is the winner of the 2008 Webby People's Voice Award. In People the personal, like it. Yeah. yeah. In the figure. personal website category. So you were number one? The one that the people liked, so yeah. I'll take it. Fantastic. Yeah. And so um, tell us about this. Why? What's your fascination, first of all, with... And they're mostly human. I, I would guess yeah, it's mostly, human there's skulls. There's a few animals in there. Yeah, human skulls. Yeah. What's your fascination? You know, I just always like them. I like yeah. biology. I like science and nature. My house is filled with skull decoration. I've got skull tattoos. Do you have a skull ring? I don't have a skull ring. But those are skulls? No, those are just tattoos. Oh, well, why didn't you have skull tattoos? <laughs> well, I got these before the project. Do you have any skull tattoos? I do have several. Oh, you do? Well, yeah. I don't want to see them. Okay. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh, you do? You have one on your stomach. Somebody yeah. just showed me a... Show uh -oh. that, show that, show that. Now you want to know, and I ask a question, look at this. <laughs> Noah has a skull tattoo on his stomach. Okay, well, we, don't, we won't look at that. Oh, thank goodness. Unless you are a, I didn't do my unless you're a Joe morning, Six so. Pack. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I make skulls. Okay. No time for that. <laughs> well, let's um, show, have a show and tell of some of these amazing skulls. Now, this one, I would say this is not that amazing. Oh. But it's very edible. I have to make them every day. This you know. is every day for 365 days. And this is a peanut butter and jelly skull. Can I have a bite? Oh, please do. It's all organic. Oh my gosh, I'm going to eat a tooth. Mm. <laughs> is it good? Mm, I love peanut it's better because it's skull shaped, right? I only had a salad for lunch <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, good. Mm, yummy. And uh, okay, so you did that one. Yeah, and the thing about it is that I have to make them every day. Yeah. So. I'm inspired by whatever's no around excuses. me. No excuses. This is right? an art project. Right. I have you, to do what I can do. You not have to. You want to. Well, yes, I okay. want to. But once I told everyone What's I was that? doing it. Well, this was in response to this one. When oh. I made this one, I asked people, do you eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Is this common around the world? And people said, well, you know, in Australia, we prefer what this is. Vegemite? Vegemite, yeah. Ve you know what's and Vegemite? It's that really salty yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's very strong. And, so, and they so, said they would send me some if I made a skull out of it and ate, eat some. Yeah, so, so. Did, you're not going to eat the cardboard. No, it. but I did eat a little bit but of it. But that on is interesting. <gasps> that's a, but that's a really, really botanical, I'm not botanical, I was going to say biological kind of skull. Yeah, yeah, a little more realistic. Yeah, that's that's an excellent one. This is a skull? Yeah, this is Skull Mountain. Take a look oh, from the front. Now, this look. doesn't look, I think, quite as exciting as it does in the, in the photograph in the book. Right. But I was uh, made model oh, there, when I was that, a kid. That's good. With and I shot it outdoors, and there was a piece a of lake. mirror underneath. And it's so got it looks, actually a little bit of wave to it. It's a vintage mirror. So it really, really looks really great. Good. People thought it was a real place. <gasps> they were really shocked. Skull Island. Skull Where Island. is that? Well, this is in actually, your imagination. Yeah, but you know, I actually put some location marks on it so people could figure out. It's somewhere near the equator uh -huh. where there's definitely nothing on the map. So right. I hope maybe Skull Island would really be there. But Excellent. I'm a graphic designer, so that's the sort uh, of skills I, I have. I love that. Oh, thank you. And then look at this. Yeah, it's my teapot. A teapot. A skull I, teapot. I'm a tea lover, so I had to do some tea related So you made this things. out of clay. Did you fire it? I had a friend fire it. It, oh. it sort of broke in the process, oh, yeah. but you know, I, I didn't know what I was doing. So. And this is a day's work? <laughs> uh, uh oh, uh oh, a skull tea bag. Well, I still have oh. to work my job, you know, during the day. So okay, so this was part of the day's work. Photographing though is a big aspect that. of it, and often took a lot longer than just making the skull. Very interesting. And now, where do we get the book? The book is all over the place. It's in stores now, and you can also buy it online. So, and uh, what do you do with the skulls that you don't eat? What do you do with all these? Like well, this? Where been, do you have them? Well, I have a mantelpiece, and they're covered. And I was actually just thinking, very of large mantelpiece, three hundred and sixty. Well, not all of them. How many were edible? Um, edible, maybe about a third of them. Maybe not even that many. But did a lot you, of them. Did you eat the edible ones, or do you, is that? This is this a little. Is, this is actually a little yeah, it's, stale. It's from and I was then. sorry that I actually took a yeah. bite out of it because. But now it's more valuable. I can sell is it this, on eBay. How old is this? This is brand new. I made this for Are you. Are you sure? Yeah, I made it just over there. I think that might be a, at least six months old. <laughs> and you kept it wrapped. 
Yes. I'm frozen. I thought I knew I was going to end up here, so I made sure I saved you some. And when we come back, we're going to be making some skulls of our very own. Looking for the perfect gift to give your Halloween guests? Coming up, Martha shows how to make a spooky coffin treat box. Don't go away.